Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Emmanuel, rightly translated, God with us. Now when did this happen? When did God physically start dwelling with us in the form of Jesus Christ? We all know that Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, which is God in the flesh. Let's find out exactly when did God start dwelling with us. When was Jesus' presence physically on this earth? Keep in mind, what is Christmas? When God started dwelling with us, Emmanuel? Now we all know Emmanuel is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Let's find out when Christmas, Emmanuel, God with us began. The, that great gift that God gave to earth, Emmanuel. God physically living here with us on earth. Let's find out when that gift began. Okay, we're going to read a scripture right here in Luke chapter 1, verse 39. Gabriel just told Mary that she will conceive with the Holy Spirit, and in her, in her womb is Jesus. So this is about a day after the announcement from Gabriel to Mary that she will conceive Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Mary is on her way to her cousin Elizabeth, which is the mother of John the Baptist. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Now we just read that both babies are still unborn and the presence of the Holy Spirit is there. There. The Elizabeth's filled with the Holy Spirit. The baby leapt when Mary greeted them, when Mary walked in. As soon as Mary walked in, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and the baby leapt. Both the baby, which is John the Baptist, which is in his mother's womb, not born yet, and Elizabeth, the mother of John, the mother of John, was filled with the Holy Spirit, which means they felt the presence of Jesus. So Jesus' presence was on earth physically while he was still in his mother's womb. Just by Mary entering the house there. They felt his presence, because keep in mind, you can't be filled with the Holy Spirit unless you're in the presence of God. So God's presence was here with us, Emmanuel, while Jesus was still in his mother's womb. In order for us to find out exactly when Jesus' presence started dwelling with us, we need to find out, let's read this scripture right here. This scripture is taken from, this is Gabriel coming to Mary and announcing to her that the Holy Spirit will conceive in her womb and she shall give birth to Jesus. The Immaculate Conception. Okay, now this is taken from Luke chapter 1 verse 36, Gabriel speaking to Mary. Now indeed, Elizabeth your relative has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Now we just read that Elizabeth was six months along, marries about a day or so in their pregnancies. So that documents to me that John the Baptist is six months older than Jesus Christ. Okay, in order for us to find out Jesus' true date of birth, let's find out John the Baptist's date of birth. And then exactly six months after John the Baptist is physically born, we'll find out that Jesus is born exactly six months after John the Baptist. Now, people might ask, why should we find out John the Baptist's date of birth? Because the Bible gives a more documented account. It's a more accurate account of John's exact birthday than Jesus' birthday. With the feast days and the, and the holidays that were used in those days that we could fix, but we did fix that there's six months between the two and John being the elder. Okay, now, John is exactly six months older than Jesus. Now, in order for us to find out John's birthday, it's a little bit hard, but we're going to read about something called the course of Abiah. That's the whole key. That's what opens up all the understanding to John's birthday. To Christmas. Because that's what we're here to find out. When did Christ start indwelling with us, Emmanuel, God with us? Now, 
let's explain what a priestly course is. In the Jewish calendar, there is 360 days to a year. Not 365 like we have, but they only have 360 days to a year. That's 51 weeks. In First Chronicles chapter 24 in the Old Testament, it says that there were 24 high priests. All those 24 high priests, they would take turns on who would serve as high priest in the temple. The course or the length of time for each priest to serve was one week long, from Sabbath to Sabbath. That's seven days. Abiah, which we find out, was one of the 24 high priests. He was a high priest, and he was one of the 24 high priests. Every high priest had a team of priests to serve with him. And each team would serve two times a year. That's a total of 48 serving weeks in the temple. There were three major holidays. On these three holidays, all the 24 priests wouldn't go one by one into the temple. They would serve together. Exactly. They would serve together, all 24 of them, and all the teams of the 24. They would go in and serve together. Why would they serve together? Because everybody around Judah, all the Jews would go back to this to the temple to sacrifice for the for holiday. holidays for and the high days it's going to be way too busy so one high priest can't Wouldn't get the enough, job done so they would need all of the high priests now why are we focusing in on this one high priest Abiyat okay no we're going to read that all the priests would start the year by serving together in the synagogue on the Passover which is April the 14th about the spring equinox the holiday Passover, it would last seven days, from Sabbath to Sabbath. So, uh-huh. the pa- the Passover would end on right around April twenty first. Now, keep in mind, this is not exactly date for date. It's give or take a few dates, because this has been two thousand years in our calendar, in the Jewish calendar. There's a few days off, but it's not more than a few days. They never have twenty eight month uh, days in a month or 31 it's always 30 and they like we said in the beginning of this that there's 360 days in their year okay after the Passover week which is on April 21st the first out of the 24 priests would start his week of service then after him the second priest then the third priest his week then the fourth and they would go all the way through the and so on priests. to the 24th right and then after the 24th priest they would start over again to the first priest Right, at the, at the first of their physical year. To the first, the second, the third, and so on. 